Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, first off, welcome. And if you're new OG, welcome back to my little corner of Al Gore's internet. Let me begin this LP with saying there was an emergency. I mean, it was almost, it was almost a moment for me where I was going to have a complete breakdown. I mean, I was about to cry ugly tears. You know that just ugly movie cry? I was about to have that moment where there was just snot running down my face. I mean, it was gross. It was about to be gross in here because I thought I lost my Journey to Redemption LP. Speaking of which, this is Journey to Redemption. Welcome. And you've probably seen me end off just like this in the last episode. If you did watch that episode, I'm not sure if you did. But if you did, you're probably like Brandy. You left off here. Yes, I did. I did. Let me explain myself. When I logged in, I was so relieved that I even had them still here in my game because I was about to go off on myself. Like, why? Why did I do what I did? Thank you, Jesus, that I had this saved that this was already backed up you know ea thank you good looking out ea too for the backups okay so i've already made a copy of jtr which i lovingly call journey to redemption so we will have no more of these emer emergencies brandy will we nope nope we won't okay good let's get back to the game all right so we left off again with Nico and Tati in her backyard. Basically, um, he stayed out. He stayed over here all night. They did not go to sleep. Um, they've been. He's been here all night. Um, they've been outside in the backyard. He's still in a mood. He's actually in a very flirty mood. He is just not wanting, willing to go home. And Tati is all in her emotions. Um, at least that's what I'm going with. Who is that over there? We know him. Okay, we do know him. Anyways, so <laughs> he really needs to take his butt home. I mean, it's getting a little ridiculous. But we're going to go ahead and let them have their first kiss because we tried to get them to have their first kiss on the last episode. And that's what's going to happen here. They're about to have their first kiss. But before they do... <laughs> Yep, that's what we're going to do, guys. That is what we're doing. We're going into tab mode, and we're going to start this off right. So we're just going to scooch on in closer. Come on, guys. Do your thing. I need to get an excellent screenshot. Yes. Yes. Do it for the gram and all the things. All right. So she got that first kiss and decided that it was time for her to G.O. You know what to do. Um... Nico, it's also time for you to uh, get the heck out of Dodge and go home. Um, we will be back, guys, with Tati. What in the haberdashery and hebaglobin is going on here? I mean, I come in thinking that we're going to have a good start because look, you guys, panic attack thwarted. We have our game back, but... We come in and it's a mess. The refrigerator is broken. It's really time for an upgrade. How much money do we have? We have money for an upgrade. Look, Grandma Tati, you need to talk to your grandma. Let's go ahead and talk to Grandma. Grandma, Grandma, come here. Love, hug her lovingly. Put the chili down. Grandma, Grandma Lily May, I absolutely love you, but we need to talk. Look, the TV's broken too. Grandma, I love you, but it's really time to get some upgrades in here. I, I The TV's broken. The refrigerator's broken. All we're doing is putting good money after bad. Maybe it's time for some upgrades. Maybe we need to go do some shopping and get some new appliances. What do you think? Besides, I'm hungry and the refrigerator's broke. Oh, I think you may be right, hon. I, I do believe that I've that refrigerator has had it. It's been here uh, since you were born. Oh, that is an old refrigerator. That refrigerator is older than Tati or as old as Tati. So we're definitely going to go ahead and take care of that. We're going to get them a new refrigerator. 
and probably a new TV. Maybe we'll get the same size TV. I don't know. No, we just need to get a better TV. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and um, do that. I will be right back. I don't want you guys to watch me try to decide what refrigerator I'm going to put in the house because it, it could be a thing. It could be a thing. All right, I'll be right back. Let's just pretend that we went shopping, shall we? I mean, even though this chili is, has been sitting here all day, um, we're going to have Grandma Lily Mae come in here and put this put this food away. But check out our new refrigerator. It, it is a new refrigerator, but it has the old look like that. That's, oh, what does this say? Oddly heated discussion. An artist who uses odd mediums such as dirty bath water, ew, and curdled milk is always trying to engage Elle in a heated discussion. Should Elle argue art theory with her or ignore her? Girl, ignore that mess. Ignore it because, oh, ignore it. Um, although it's hard to ignore the smell of that curdled milk, Elle does manage to ignore the artist. They paint in relative peace. Good. Um, that is one thing Elle does not want to have is drama at work. Um, so it, look at it. It looks so nice. Aren't you happy, Grandma? Admire. Can you admire your new possession? Is that only for something, someone who is like materialistic? Probably. Okay. But I like it. And then we got this big TV. I mean, this is a little flashy. Um, Tati had to talk her grandma into getting this, but, um, it was, I think it's going to be a, 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 worthy purchase. Um, now Tati can really sit down and watch her cartoons and, uh, whatever she would like. And grandma can watch her stories. Uh, that's old school guys. My grandmother used to love watching her stories like General Hospital, Young and the Restless, um, Bold and the Beautiful. Gosh, there were so many, but um, you best believe... Oh, wait, I hear you're not good at haggling. Why don't you let me take you to the flea market? What? What does Malcolm Langrab want with Grandma L, Grandma Lily? What does he want? I'm sorry, we don't know you. Do we? Does she know Malcolm? She does. She's made some friends. Do you guys remember that that guy at the bar, the bartender, the real cute one that Grandma Lily May tried to hook up, hook Elle up with? He's married. He's very married. Okay, so wow, there's a lot of people that have um gone on to glory here. So Dennis, Kim, oh, rest in peace, Dennis. Okay. Oh, she's gotten to know Nico fairly well. Anyways, uh, we're getting sidetracked. I guess I'm just so excited that I got my um, my game back. I don't know what to do with myself. Look at that Chris grandma. You can't say this, this picture is crisp. I mean, look how crisp this is. I mean, it looks so, so crisp. It does not it looks so bad. <laughs> the, the Sims 3 graphics look as so bad. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, I'm done. All right. Tati has had no sleep. Um, she has been up all night and she kind of had to play it off um, with her, her grandmother and her mom because she didn't want them to know that Nico had been here all night. Um, she's, uh, she's, she's starting to rebel a little bit all in the sake of love. Um, but he, Oops, Tati, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry, hon. Go to sleep. I meant for Grandma L to clean up. Or, why do I keep calling her Grandma L? Grandma Lily to clean up because... Can she not throw... Okay, we'll just have her put it away then. We should get... We should have gotten a, um automated bowl thingy just because we were spending some money. We usually don't buy anything in this house. Grandma... Lily May is so traditional. She just likes to keep everything the way it's supposed to be, which is how she's always had it. So, um, yeah, the house hasn't changed in years. The newest thing we have in this house right now is the uh, washer and dryer, the refrigerator and TV. Everything else is pretty much the same. Okay, we need to go over here and watch Grandma Lily may do this because we don't need her catching on fire. So Nico actually invited Tati over to hang out and um, they've been up here doing 
doing things they don't have no business doing up here making out and um, it's getting pretty hot and heavy pretty quickly here and I'm a little little concerned um, because Tati is very inexperienced when it comes to love or anything to, of that matter she has never had a boyfriend this Nico if they make it official he hasn't even made it official and she's making out with him but um if he should ask her to be his girlfriend they um th he would be her first um and so she it is does not know how to really handle herself but they're gonna cool it off a little bit yeah that's right you you you're you're getting a little too big for your britches girl um, so yeah, they're just going to hang out ha watch a movie, but they do need to kind of talk and she needs to figure out what's going on with Nico. Um, her emotional control, like I said before, guys, is pretty, um, unbalanced. She is not, um, yeah, she has no emotional control, um, as you can see here and her conflict resolution is also in the red so she will um not make wise decisions especially when it comes to um the opposite sex so um uh, dad he's walking through the living room like yeah I, I see you guys i see you all right so um let's have them chat for a little bit let's have her real reveal her crush um, let her know, let him know how she feels. Um, Nico, I really care about you. I, I'm, I know we're just friends, but I really like you. And that kiss was amazing. It was, I've never been kissed before. So that was, that was mind blowing to me. Um, I really care about you too. I just want to make sure that um, that you you understand that I just got out of a, a relationship, and I I need to take things slow. Um, let's tell him that we understand. So let's discuss interests. I completely understand. Um. You're right. We did kind of rush into this, and I don't really know what we're doing. I we're not even officially boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, where are you going, Nico? We're not done talking. Oh, okay. Oh, he's lighting the fireplace. What? Oh, making it romantical and stuff in here. Look at this. Um, let's 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 ask him if he's single. Um, let's see if he has officially broken it off. Have you broken it off with Tempest yet? Um, are you still seeing him? He is still seeing her. I'm still seeing her. We haven't officially broken it off, but if things are complicated. Um, we haven't really talked yet. Not really. I mean, we had a discussion, but we didn't make it official. Um, I assume that she's probably seen Gio, but yes, I know I need to talk to her. Dude, are you trying to cool yourself off? Are you a little hot and heavy? It's warm in here. Girl, what are you doing sitting here in your coat? I just realized she was sitting here in her coat. I'm okay with waiting. I, I'm here for you regardless. We're friends first, right? Um, so that hasn't changed. It, the kiss has made things a little awkward and a little different, but I think I can, I can, I think I can handle waiting for you to do what you need to do. Aw, they look so cute. They do look cute together. Look at him tickle her. Aw. Wait, I have to take this picture. I do. I have to take this picture. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I gotta do this. Wait, I don't need to take the headline effect off. Let me just tab in and um, let me... They look so cute. Look at all that hair on her head. Um, let's take this picture. Oh, y'all look so cute together. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I promise. No, I'm not. I don't promise. But they are cute, and she is just really. Oh my gosh! I just realized they're matching. Look. Oh, here comes. Here comes. 
here comes Daddy Mason. Like, uh, yeah, he knew what was going on. He was like, yeah, you guys need to put some feet in between you. Um, and uh, we'll have him talk to you. Let's have her attempt uh, introduction. <laughs> really, girl? He's like, okay. Um, that was your introduction? Okay, you have to be embarrassed. What, why are you so happy? Is she happy? Pleasant conversation. Um, Asked to take picture of Mason. Is he famous or something? Oh, that is true. He is a famous doctor, so... Um, attempt introduction. Yeah, that ain't go very well. Maybe we need to walk away. You just need to go find Nico and, uh, <laughs> leave him alone. Where is Nico? Did he go upstairs? He probably went to sleep, poor thing. No, he didn't. Where'd he go? Is he downstairs? Where'd he go? This house is too big. I can't find any. Oh, he's out here working out. Girl out here working out come on here and check him out go here he's out here getting all sweaty and stuff you know looking looking good looking deliciously good i feel a little weird <laughs> I feel just a little weird <laughs> maybe i shouldn't say that he yeah he came out here to blow off some steam um, yeah, this is kind of awkward. She came out here to see what he was doing. He came out here to blow off some steam. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the mic. Uh, because things are getting a little hot and heavy, and he is really trying. He's starting to get really buff. But, um, express your imagine imagination. Express your imagination. Express your, um, admiration. Whoa. Tell, uh, show off your, show up your, show off your abs. Reading is fundamental, guys. <laughs> Stay in school. <laughs> that public high school education. <laughs> what time is it? Oh my gosh, it's late. Girl, you need to get home. Tell him, give him a hug goodbye. Give him a kiss. You've got to get home. Your mom is going to have a fit. Is she home? Oh my gosh, her mom's at home. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and get that in. Go get it in. Okay, it's time for you to go home. It was at that moment, Tati knew. She done messed up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She done messed up. Mom sitting here, sitting on the couch with that look on her face. Look at Grandma L. Like, oh, here we go. Come on in, Tati. Come on in, girl. Come on in. Let's let's watch her walk in, guys. Let's, let's watch her. Watch her come around the corner. Look at her. She, she is like... She's over here like, I, I have to go in. I have to go in. Let's, <clears throat> let's say hi to mom. Hi, mom. Let's ask mom about her day. Okay, mom is in a good mood. What's going on with mom? What is going on with Elle? You know I'm disappointed, right? I'm just glad that you're home. Where have you been? Um, I, I was hanging out with my tutoring class and things got a little late. I'm sorry, mom. We just needed to get some homework done. And I may have a boyfriend. What? A boyfriend? Huh. I don't know, Tati. You're a little irresponsible. I mean, you're not ready for one. You're responsible enough with homework and schooling and things like that. But I don't know about this boyfriend thing. You're still pretty young and you have plenty of time to have a boyfriend. We are back. It's been a couple days, you guys, since I actually recorded this episode or recorded Journey to Redemption. And um, I decided that I had some other things to do, which I, I didn't decide. I mean, I did have some other things to do and we got those things accomplished. Um, and I'll discuss the, those things a little further. I Maybe I will. I don't know. Maybe I'll do an update video, um, an early update video. Anyways, um, we wanted to get back into the game and start playing a little bit. And we are speaking, we're hanging out with Elle today because um, she's got a couple days off or at least it says she's got a day off and she's looking fabulous as usual. Um, the temperature has dropped, so she's changed her wardrobe. Um, what I wanted to do with Elle is have her go and hang out 
with Josh because I think I wanted, I think she's decided that she wants to try to make it at least official with him. Um, so we'll see. Oh, look at Astro. Astro is sleeping good, guys. Look at that. When you really, I was just trying to zoom in. Let's see what this is. The teacher has to step out for a second to talk to a parent. She asks Tatiana to run to the class for a little while, to run the class for a little while. Should Tatiana keep following the lesson plan the teacher laid out or do something fun and easy with her classmates? Let's do like you're told and follow the plan. Uh, she had a small performance loss. Even though this wasn't Tatiana's idea, her classmates are angry about having her in charge. They refuse to participate or behave, and eventually Tatiana has to call the principal for help. Tati could not afford that performance loss. Look what's going on with her grades. Her grades have been slipping. She hasn't done her homework. And um, her mind has been elsewhere besides school. And her mother warned her about this a long time ago, that uh, she needs to remain focused on her education rather than um, her friends and boys and Tati's been mainly focused on her on boys um, she has been a little laxed with hanging out with her friends um, and her friends are starting to see that let's check her relationship status with some of her friends are we on Tati nope okay so let's see she's even had some friendship loss with Miss B um, Shelby's still good. It looks like, um, let's see, Shiloh, I don't know. Yeah, Shiloh is not so good. So this, um, this is just the repercussions of Tati being more focused on, um, herself and, you know, and just being a crappy friend right now. All right, so it's a 10 o'clock. It's a 10 o'clock. It's me, Mario. It's a 10 o'clock, and we're going to go across the street and see if Josh is at home. Um, peek in the window. Can we see? Can we see? Nope, can't see. All right, let's go knock on the door. Oh, no one's home. Okay, no one's home. All right, so Josh did give us an extended invite to his restaurant. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to go to his restaurant. You guessed it. All right, we'll see you in just a moment. Elle decided last minute to have her mom come with her. It's a cloudy, gloomy day. It is, I mean, it is fall. What are we, like in the ninth day of, of fall, it's really cold. Um, but look how good her mom looks. She looks really sharp. I love it. Oh, I like this little pizza place over here. I forgot this was over here. We'll have to go try that out. Um, looks like there's somebody waiting to be serviced. I don't see Josh anywhere. Um, it doesn't look like he's here. I'm wondering where he could have gone or where he could be. Either way, um, this is a perfect time for Elle and her mother to just kind of hang out, even though her intention was to come here and see Josh. Yeah, they can still come here and enjoy each other's company. This is something that they don't get to do very often. Um, oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Who's pregnant? Okay, I thought that was Pia. You guys, I was about to flip out. Um, you guys remember Pia? Uh, the, the friend that, or not the friend, the girl from Tati's uh, um, tutoring group that is so, like, standoffish. She won't make friends. She just refuses to make friends with people. So they're going to take this opportunity to do just that. Enjoy each other's company. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just going to kind of keep an eye out for Josh. Hopefully, they'll find somebody. Did they get a table? Wait to be seated. 50 bucks? Josh, what are you playing at, sir? The $50 to get seated? You better be glad that she likes you. Hopefully he'll reimburse her for that because he did say that this was on him. But she doesn't want to pull that rank. Um, he's not here and the staff really don't know her that well or don't know her at all uh, because she's only been here once. So she's going to go ahead and pay for their meal. Look at Grandma Lily. She's already looking at the menu. And she's like, this place is really nice. I'm impressed. Who, is, who, who owns this restaurant? Um, let's talk to Grandma. Her mom 
Well, actually, this is a restaurant that's owned by the guy that I've been seeing. Um, his name is Josh. I know I haven't, you know, brought him over to meet you, Mom, but I, it hasn't been made official. We're just seeing each other right now. Well, I'm glad that you're actually going out and seeing people. You've been stuck in this house and just going to work for years. Honey, I want you to be happy. So if this young man is, you know, giving you what you need as far as companionship, then I say kudos. But I certainly would like to meet him. So anytime you are ready to have him come over to the house for dinner, please, by all means, bring him over. Mom, I would love to. I'm glad that you approve. You don't need my approval, baby girl. You don't. You're a grown woman. You're responsible. You've raised Tati all by yourself. Speaking of, mom, please, not not right now. No, this is the perfect opportunity for us to talk about it. So we are. We're going to talk about it. Oh, we're going to talk about it. Um. So here we go. You need to let Tati know that her father is, is around. That you need to be honest with her. Mom, I can't. It's it's too complicated. Complicated is when you, a little girl has a father who's not in his life because the mother refuses to acknowledge the father. The past is the past. Let it go. But mom, I, I'm just not ready. It's not fair to Tati. I realize it's not fair, but... Mom, you don't understand. We didn't part on good terms. I understand that, darling, but that's not Tati's fault. She's 18 years old. She's about to graduate high school. She has no idea who her father is. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. Well, you think quickly because if she finds out that she has a father who was wanting to be in her life all these years... Um, be uh, uh, by someone else. Uh, Mom, we're not going to talk about this anymore. We're going to enjoy our dinner or enjoy our lunch and, you know, just enjoy each other's company. We don't get to do this very often, okay? Let's just not talk about it. All right, baby girl, I'm just telling you. All right, so let's um, order for the table. Lily May has a great point and you know if Tati has a father who wants to be in her life and Elle hasn't been completely honest with Tati who knows what Elle has told Tati about her father you know from the sounds of it she she told Tati that he doesn't want to be around her that he doesn't have want anything to do with her and it seems like that is not the case so um Elle's got this secret and that could be detrimental to what relationship that she and Tati have reforged. Um, so we'll see how this plays out. I'm hoping for the best here. What is it about this boy that you know that's been hanging around the house? Oh, the young boy, Nico. Yeah, he's actually the son of one of the most well-to-do families here in, uh, well, in Willow Little Creek. Oh, really? And what's his last name? champion i don't think you know them oh i know the champion family really well oh i didn't know that yes we actually go way back i know uh mason champion's father he used to be uh, my physician really for years yes yes he's long since retired he was a good man but um he was very demanding of his his son and yeah, Mason seems to have turned out really well. I hear that he's followed in his father's footsteps. I don't know about any about that family mom at all. I just know that his son hangs out with Tati and she had been helping him with tutoring. Hmm. It sounds like they're doing a little more than tutoring. I think you need to keep a close eye out on Tati. Mom, I think Tati's okay. I mean, she's at home most of the time. So she goes to school and comes home. What can she get into? I'm just saying, you know, he's a good-looking young boy. Tati is an impressionable young girl. She's never had a boyfriend. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I know I'm right in this. You need to listen to me at least about one thing. Okay, okay. I will talk to Tati. 
You need to talk to her about the birds and the bees. Mom, I've already talked to her about that. All right. I'm just saying is all. I'm just saying. Lo and behold, we spoke, we talked Josh up. He gave Elle a ring and wanted her to come out to visit the art museum with him. This is like totally her jam because he knows that she is a painter. Is She's an artist. Uh, I mean, that is her career. And he just wanted to bring her to this art exhibit. And she invited her mom to come along with. So um, this is a perfect opportunity for them to introduce. Oh, I guess he did introduce himself. To, yeah, I guess so. All right. So he's already introduced himself to Grandma L. He is super wet. Why is he dripping wet? Is it raining outside or something? No, it's clear as day outside. It's just cold. Oh, so Grandma's actually going to give them some privacy. And she's going to uh, make a flirtatious joke, or Elle is, and um, see how he's uncomfortable, probably because he's wet. Uh, he responded really well to that. So she's going to flirt some more and confess her attraction to him. Um, I, I definitely want to try to make this as um, official as I possibly can this episode because they have been walking circles around each other. They like each other. I mean, he's really attracted to her. And Oh, okay. That didn't bode well. <laughs> That didn't go well so at all. Okay, he's cold. He's wet. He's like, I'm so sorry. I'm just not in a great mood. I really shouldn't have invited you out, but I really wanted to see you, and I am soaking wet. Well, yeah, he needs to go ahead and take care of that because his attitude is just, uh, uh, yeah. It um, leaves a lot to be desired, sir. Is she, where's she going to look? And What's up here? She really does like this place. She's never been to this museum. Um, this We're in San Myshuno. So this was a bit of a drive for them. Um, this was a train ride here and kind of late in the evening. And she has to go to work in the morning. But, you know, she and her mom had a crappy dinner. Um, and that's something she definitely wanted to tell Josh uh, was about the, uh, the service at his restaurant. It's not his fault because he wasn't there. So his staff was just kind of slacking. They were, li they were a little lax with the service. Come up here and take a picture with him. He's waiting. Okay. Let's see how cute this is. Let's see how cute they are together. They're cute. He's got a nice smile. I love the cleft in his chin. I am a sucker for a cleft in the chin. Super cute. And she's so pretty, even without makeup. She is gorgeous. Let's give him a hug before we leave. Um, and just thank him for inviting you out. You and your mom, give him a hug. But let him know that it's time for you to go home. Um, you do have a daughter to make sure that she's um, at home. I do thank you for inviting me out. Um, I hope that... You don't mind if I take my leave early, but I've got to get home. Works early in the morning, and, you know, my mom, she's also pretty tired. So, yeah, of course. I'm just glad that you came here even for, even if it was just a little while. I just wanted you to see this museum. I really, really thank you, and maybe we can do this again sometime. I'd absolutely love it. All right. Well, I will... See you later, and you have a good night. It's morning time. Tati actually got up early to do her homework because she's been slacking, and they've having been having this awkward conversation. Um, Elle's not really sure how she should um, approach this particular subject, but she wants to know what's going on with Tati, with her and Nico. Um, your grandmother told me that Mr. Champion has been coming over here quite often outside of my being here. Is that true? Yes, Mom, it's true. You know Grandma would not tell you um, anything other than the truth. It was a facetious question. I, uh, yeah, he's been coming over. All right, well, mm, where are you going? Sit down, sit have this conversation with her and 
Let's not avoid it. Okay. Look, I know we've discussed about you being careful, but we really need to, I need to drive that, that uh, conversation home. I need you to be extra careful. This guy, this kid, this guy, he is more experienced than you are. Mom, we haven't been doing anything. I'm still okay. Even still, you need to be careful. How are you just learning that your daughter's a natural musician? Okay, mom. Look, I made the mistake of having you when I was very young. I just don't want you to repeat that same mistake. I'm not saying that you're a mistake. I'm just saying that the act and me having you before I was ready made life hard for me. I had to do this by myself. Thank goodness for your grandmother um, who took me in and took you in. Okay. Mom, I'll be careful. I promise. I love this table, but <laughs> this is right. Let's just look this way so it doesn't look like she's stuck in the table. And a young lady, why are you doing your homework at 630 in the morning? You should have had that done. I I was tired last night. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, you've been slacking. I've been noticing that you haven't been coming home doing your homework. So you need to go ahead and keep up with those grades because I better not get a report card that's less than an A. I mean that. You have school, and I want you to be serious about that. Mom, I told you that I'm going to be a musician. You need a backup. Are you serious? You're an artist. Yes, and you see how I've had to struggle. Fine. I don't know what else you expect me to do. I love music. I don't have any other interests. Uh, Tati, I just really need you to make sure you take your education seriously. I just want you to do better than I, want. I did. I don't want to see you struggle. Mom, I'll be fine. I promise you. This is my dream. Uh, Tati, one day, girl, one day. All right, so Tati's going to head off to school. She's got, like, school in 30 minutes. She might be late because she hasn't done her homework. And we'll go ahead and fast forward, and we'll see you in just a moment. Oh, I love rainy days. Even in the game, I mean, right now in my real life, it is super gloomy. Oh, she, oh my gosh, Josh, invite in. Oh, my, wait. Okay, Shelby, I knew was coming over, but Josh? Um, Grandma L's going to go in. Well, hi, Josh, how are you? Fancy meeting you here. Come on in, Josh, come on in. Let's uh let's ask about let's ask about Josh's interests. Um cuz grandma doesn't know anything about him and you know he is dating her only daughter, her only child. Where did he go? He better not be going in my refrigerator. I know that for a fact. Okay. <laughs> um Josh, so tell me about yourself. Um I hear that you own that lovely restaurant over there in the promenade. Yeah, uh, I actually manage that restaurant with my brother. And uh, we've had it for a couple of years now. And we are doing well. Oh, look. Look who's home. All right. So we're going to have Elle come down here and talk to... Um, Josh, greet him. Oh! <laughs> girl. This poor girl. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is super tense. She's muddy. Oh, wait a minute. You are sitting on her couch all muddy. Uh, maybe you should go take a shower. Maybe you should do that and then come and greet Josh. Maybe you'll feel a little better. And she's... What's going on with her? She's having a mood swing. She had a bad day at school. She's not in a great mood. Shiloh's over here probably to do nothing but start mess because she hasn't talked to her friends in a while. Where'd Shiloh go? Okay. Shiloh's waiting patiently by the stairs. 
Um, let's come over here and complain about her problem. Charlotte probably doesn't want to hear it. Look at her. She's like, I don't really don't want to hear it. Let's boast to her about messing around with Nico right in front of, oh, well, grandma's not here. Where's grandma? Okay, grandma's upstairs. Guess what happened? Nico kissed me. What? Are you, are you sure? What do you mean? Are you sure? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Then why are you so down? You ought to be happy. This is what you've wanted. I know that's what I've wanted. But I need some advice. And maybe you can help me out. He's... Really? <laughs> he's, um... He's still... With Tempest. Yeah, that's a problem. But be smart about this, Tati. Do you want... You guys, come over here. <laughs> Come over here, because this is ridiculous. Just come chat over here. Tati, come chat over here. You guys come chat over here. Just, please. <laughs> Are you seriously crying? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, no. Talk to, is Shiloh? Okay, she's got to get going. All right, well. You need to take whatever little information Shiloh, or little advice Shiloh gave you. Oh, yes, girl. Brownies are a girl's best friend when they are down. I understand completely. Chocolate is my best friend. Look at her mom's over here, emotional eating. Tati's over here, emotional eating. Like mother, like daughter. Look at them. They're both not in a great mood. But Elle really needs to come over here and entertain Josh. Um, so... She has some questions to ask him. What's up, L? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Why is Gio giving Tati's mom a number? Or what? You know I'm curious, right? I, I was about to end the episode, but now I'm curious. So, I mean, I'm going to end it, but I'm curious about what this is. So we're going to say, okay, uh, Grandma L's getting a phone call. Who is this? What's up, Lily Mae? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give him a... What is going on? What? <laughs> What is this? I mean, is Tati going to get a call now? All right, Grandma L, somebody's asking about you. I'm curious as to who this might be. But yeah, so let's stop eating um, this thing and come over here and talk to Josh. Why don't you go ahead and blow him a kiss um, and confess your attraction. He seems to be in a good mood. He's not flirty, but he's happy. Um, so maybe you can get him in the flirty mood. They've been seeing each other long enough where it's, it's got to go somewhere. Oh, they look so cute. Okay. Look, Josh, I'm, I'm, I'm not usually the person to ask this, but can we make this official or not? Okay, girl, just, oh no. No, he didn't just kick up his foot. <laughs> All right, so they have made it official, guys. Um, I just wanted to get that done and over with because they've been dancing around the bush for too long, and now Elle has an actual boyfriend, and I'm actually happy for her because she deserves to be happy. However, I do have some questions about Tati's father and if she's actually going to. What? Hey, Elle, I've heard so many good things about you, and I'd love if we can grow to be fast friends. Jacques Villarreal, um, sir, How, wait a minute, is Jacques, is Jacques, Jacques is an elder, what is it with the game hooking us up with elders, anyways, yeah, so back to the whole thing with Tati, yes, Tati, we found out that Elle is withholding information from her daughter, and, um, we all know how that kind of, how that goes, how that ends and it's not going to end well maybe maybe not she are is she going to say something to tati is tati going to find out from another source we'll see 
But um, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end it right here. It's gotten dark. People are starting to go to bed. I do hope that you enjoyed this this episode of Journey to Redemption. Let me know what you guys think about Elle's secret and what you think about um, her relationship with Josh. But yes, let me know what you guys think about the relationship um, with Tati and Nico. Are you are they going too fast? Um, do you think that Tati is emotionally stable enough to handle, um, Nico's possible, um, what do you call it? His, um, and rebound. That's it. The rebound. All right. So that's all I have for you guys. If you are not a member of the family and you'd like to come to the family reunion, you know what to do. All those wonderful things that we do on YouTube. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit that bell notification so you'll know every time I upload. I upload at least three times a week. And until next time, ciao.